There are too numerous to mention, but I want to take a moment to thank everybody at LABC. Those of you who are not sure what LABC means, it's the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, where there's various producers, directors, and staff doing all kinds of work to make Dan and the Danettes look as good as possible on the air. Uh, They're just amazing from the top to the bottom. Everyone's doing their part, whether it's a piece of resource that we need, graphics, video, the lower thirds on the screen. They're always extremely creative, getting up all hours of the night because of the time difference. Can't thank everybody enough. One of the great things about our crew in Los Angeles, we change topics all the time on the Dan Patrick Show. Our show is not scripted, not even close to scripted. We'll reference me getting hit by Michael Strahan. These men and women were so fast at getting the B-roll and the content and putting up there on the screen or the graphics. It was not unnoticed by me or by you at home. They had to be so rapid fire to type that into the computer, get it up. The director, the producer, unbelievable speed that they worked with. They're very talented people out there in Los Angeles. One of my favorite parts about the LA production crew is how much I love the show because when Dan said something controversial and the notes start flooding in, I can't believe what Dan said about the Lakers. I can't believe what Dan said about the Dodgers. People love the show, and I'm the same way. We're almost like fans at the same time as working on the show. I would be a caller if I wasn't on the show, and I know there's so many people in the production crew who are exactly like that. Oh, one of my favorite things about the LABC crew is when they would send us scripts for the following day's open, and it was usually the most absurd thing you'd ever heard. I now pronounce you man and meat. And that's how we end up like with our underwear on over our pants or uh, acting like zombies uh, or any myriad of things that uh, the people in L.A. would dream of. One specific shout out I want to give is one of the uh, producers of the Dan Patrick Show TV wise is Bill Wagner. There's lots of people up there who do all the work, but Bill was always my conduit, kind of served in my role out there in Los Angeles. Bill is as smart as anybody I've ever worked with. Bill specifically would communicate with me, anticipate things. Preparation was always fantastic. Very funny guy. He would send me notes in real time. So did Trey, Chris Stanback, but Billy Wagner, great producer of the show, deserves all the accolades just as his team does. The other thing is the tremendous communication. You would think that they're sitting right there next to us. We're on instant message, we're texting each other, emailing each other back and forth. They're very detail oriented, and every little thing you see on the screen is all coming out of LABC. That crew is just uh, extremely on the ball, and we'd be fortunate to have people to work with like that uh, going forward. You know what else is funny too? Throughout the years, after the show, we'd be sitting like just eating lunch or something, and all of a sudden, your face would go up on all of the monitors of you eating a sandwich and somebody would just message you real quick like, hey, how's that sandwich taste? <laughs> they have a tremendous sense of humor. People there were kind of always messing with us, which was fun because being thousands of miles apart, it's easy to sort of have that disconnect there where it's sort of our group and their group, but it was all of these little moments that sort of kept everybody on the same team and on the same page. That was pretty funny. And I think that passion carried everything through, that we were all on the same team and we all Love doing what we did. There's a guy named DJ Spar and his crew, and we would go out and do these different shoots, like a sabotage video in San Francisco. But the one that stood out to me is our bosses at DirecTV rented out Alcatraz Island for three hours. I don't know anyone else in this business who would do that. Chris Long and all the people above us at DirecTV, they would do whatever it took to provide great content. And I remember thinking to myself, I don't know how I got here, but it's fantastic. The fact that our management and coworkers were able to pull off a shoot at Alcatraz Island during Super Bowl week is, is insanity. And we did a hundred others just like it that was a lot of fun, but that one to me will always stand out. Super creative people, very hard workers, very important to the success of this show, and uh, very much appreciated. They're fantastic, and I hope that there'll be opportunities to work with them again in the future. They're just uh, tremendous and made us all look, look really good. Thank you. Thank you all very much.